Hello you guys, it's Monica. And look, I'm wearing my wig style. Feel so happy about it. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about how I got a purse from Killstar. I got the infamous Gravedigger bag. And it's, if you guys don't know what this is, it's a skull bag of like the life size of human skull. Um, it comes in like white, it comes in velvet, and it comes in black leather. So I got the black leather one and I'm going to show you it. It's actually my favorite bag and I carried it around for a few months. So I feel like if I, there's anyone who knows something about this bag, <laughs> it's gonna be me because I spend so much time carrying this thing around. I actually brought it with me. So this is my Grave Digger bag. I have like an Aldi little keychain. I even went grocery shopping with this. Like this thing was my everyday thing. Like I got it for myself for Christmas and I really, really, really love it. So the skull cap opens like this. It's like a zipper with Killstar. Um, oh my god, my lipstick from Jeffree Star. Dirty Money came out of it. Just saying, I'm also going to review this too. So, this is the details on it. It's super cool. It's really shiny. Like, it's shiny and it's like... hard. Inside of it is like a black like satin. It says kill star. It's actually deep. It goes to like this point right here and it's flat back here. This is cool because you can like choose what kind of strap you want and it's easy to kind of hook off and hook on. The only thing I have to say about this thing though is when you put it on right it's kind of like it's hard to lay like you don't know where it should lay on you and that can get kind of awkward so that's one thing I would say about this bag is it's awkward when it comes to the way it lays like you're not sure and it can get very heavy like on its own it's maybe about Maybe two or three pounds. This is a pretty heavy bag by itself. And it's big, like it's literally as big as my own head. Like it's a big bag. Like it takes up the size of my chest and it's as big as my head. Um, the strap on it, this one's the original strap, yeah. Um, it's not really adjustable. So you have to be careful about like making sure it's adjusted to your size. Sometimes I had to trade out different um, straps. I think it comes with a short strap too, but it came with tassels. I just didn't personally like the tassels on it, but this is it. And just slowly pan in. I like this like Thing right here I think it's just so cool it's a great piece um how much does this retail for I got it on sale for Christmas though I did I get anything else from Killstar I think this was like 80 something dollars like 85 dollars I think I don't think I got anything else this is one of those yeah being like 80 something dollars it could have been more I don't actually know I don't know the price of it. Um, this is another thing I wanted to review. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick and Dirty Money. Um, I just got this from Morphe and I am, I'm in love with Jeffree Star in general. Like he's my idol besides Lady Gaga. So I have nothing but good things to ever say about him. Um, the Velour Liquid Lipstick is fantastic. Like, the packaging is great. It's beautiful. Uh, this thing holds up really well throughout the whole day. It's actually my favorite lip 
formula. I've been using Kat Von D's for a while and I actually like this a lot better. The only thing about this, the smell of this one, I don't know if it's because it's supposed to smell like money, but this one smells like dollar bills. It actually smells like dollar bills or like kind of like acrylic paint. It's kind of a weird smell to this one, but um, another thing I noticed I, I didn't really like is like the way this little swivel is. Like, you can put on a really good look with it, but I had to train myself how to do it. Like, it gets really, it's really soft. And I'm used to kind of a harder, like sharper one. Like the applicator tip for Kat Von D and for this is a lot different. But it comes off like a, like if you can see, like a, it's like a minty shade. I paired it with this lace front wig I did the video about. If you want to check out how I installed this thing, then definitely uh, watch the video about me struggling with this wig for like 30 minutes. But I kind of just paired this together, but she dries down really soft and there's not a whole lot of transfer going on. If you wear like greasy food, yeah, but I just applied a little bit before I started filming. So it's not actually the worst when it comes to that. I'm really impressed with this and I'm really impressed with the Kill Star. The Kill Star actually came in a timely manner, um, like right away. Um, I said like five days or so. They give the tracking number. Um, the stuff was really high quality, it was packaged nicely. I really was impressed with their like leather work with their bag. That's a good bag. Like whoever designed that bag did such a good job with it and it hasn't broke yet. And I have worn that bag since December as one of my everyday bags. And I can't say anything else more good about it. Um, this liquid lipstick, like I'm gonna have to get every single one of his liquid lips because Liquid Lifts is literally a life for me. Like, like it's a lifestyle and I can't say, like this color is so beautiful, it's so interesting. It's the first color I wanted to get from him and I'm just going to, yeah, keep buying his formulas because they're fantastic. I can't wait to just own the collection. I'm slowly, piece by piece, I want to try it on in the store and actually see it in person before I bought it online. I don't really like to buy things online, but um, I'm definitely going to see if I can buy some more of his stuff and um, just show you guys little bits by bits of things that I collected. But yeah, um, that's something that I just wanted to share with you guys about an honest review. And you know, I really liked those things. Like I thought they were fantastic and um, it's some of my favorite things that I actually possibly own. It really is. Like they they were like that was $18, so it wasn't bad. This one was a hundred and something dollars, I think. Um, but they're worthwhile investments. It hasn't broken. It's really good. I definitely would buy that stuff in the future. So um you also saw me do a review on this lace front wig as well. Um, check out my review about it as well because I did that video um, I think slowly but surely I'm gonna just review more stuff too but thank you guys for watching that's all that's about all I had today so mwah, thank you and I think I'm gonna start filming here a little bit more often because this space is super cool like I'm so impressed with this little space that I made for myself and I'm also gonna tell you the story about this couch because uh, <laughs> and I actually picked it up on the side of the road. So my leather couch I picked up on the side of the road. Just saying. I'm going to tell a story about that later. But thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing. Bye.